It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Yeah. Chloe Carroll knows exactly where she left her wedding rings the night of the fire. I knew I took it off in the bathroom. It's okay. <laughs> and I put it in my little worker cabinet while I was washing my hands. What she didn't know is that just hours later, she'd be racing to leave her home with her husband and sons as flames from the LNU lightning complex fires started tearing toward them. It looked like a tornado of flames. Like I just have never seen something move so fast. Like we've had fires out here. It was just eating everything whole. Like, I mean, the flames were taller than trees. Once out of the house, it dawned on Chloe. She'd left her wedding rings back at the house. Me and my husband decided to drive back to try to get some stuff out of the house. We drove through the flames behind the back of the house and it was peeked up over the, the hill and just watched it all just burning down. Realization set in when the Carols thought about what wouldn't make it. I just thought of everything, my kids' ultrasound photos, my kids, like, footprints from their birth. This property has been in the family for years with the original main house over here and a secondary home built over here. Everything in both houses reduced to rubble. Chloe and her husband Jason didn't think anything would survive the flames. I, I did not believe anything would be found, and if I found out, that would be uh, melted to nothing. I thought for sure they'd be gone. I thought they'd be melted. My my sink was right here. But thanks to their aunt Denise, who helped sift through the ashes two days after the fire, they found the rings right where the bathroom once stood. I just started screaming and I, we found it, we found it, I told you we would find it. Discovering something of such sentimental value, this diamond in the rough, gives them motivation to move forward until the family figures out what's next. I got something. I got something that I thought was completely gone. It gives you a little bit of like, all right, we can redo this. We can do this. It gives you a little hope. In Solano County, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Sometimes the tiniest of things mean the most. The Carols say that they have deep gratitude for the support and donations they've received. They're not sure how long it will take, but they hope that they can rebuild in the exact same spot where their older home once stood.